evening. Just home from work and uh, crazy it may seem, it's, it's, it's sunny in Northern Ireland. Uh, beautiful night to get into the garden. I've got a couple of wee jobs to do. But before that, this. Now, an unboxing and before I unbox a little bit of history, there is a young man on Instagram. If any of you have uh, access to Instagram, check out Young Knives. Um, it's a guy by the name of Sandy, uh, Sandy Young. Uh, he makes his own custom knives. I've been following him on Instagram for a while, looking at some of his stuff. Brilliant knives, really nice finish. Um, great attitude to his work. And still at the early days yet, so uh, you can pick up a custom uh, handmade to your specifications knife at a really good price and uh, I haven't opened this yet I don't know what's in there so I might be pumping this guy up and uh, Sandy I might be coming hunting for you now he's a fellow Celt he's from Scotland and uh, he has a love for the outdoors um, a love for what he's doing uh, and he puts his personality his finishing touch into the blade into the knife so uh, I spoke to him on Instagram, I asked him uh, what he could do, what was available and we came up with the, this, this knife for me. Now uh, I'm going to share it with you, I'm going to open it in front of you, um, you'll see the excitement or disappointment in my face, uh, but you can tell how eager I am to get this box open and see what's inside. This is a wee bit more unique, he's had a, a touch that I asked him to, just to, to, to make sure that it was just for me, something that wee bit special. Uh, so, here goes. I was very excited when uh, my wife texted me to let me know that this had arrived and emailed Sandy to let him know that I knew that it was there but couldn't get into it. So I'm not going to be petite and polite about this people. Okay, so what do we have? Ooh. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. Maple handle. Bushcraft knife with the young knives embroidered logo and a something a little bit special which I'm going to show you now. Picking this up. Yep, there we go, just with the sunlight on it. And for those that can't tell, that is a ferret on the handle because I'm a, an avid lover of the mustelids and the ferrets are what I keep as pets. So I'll just give you a wee close up. And on the other side, Sandy puts his own mark, the YK, for the Young Knives. Love the way you feel of this. It feels like a working knife. Sits really nice in my hand. Fat hand. I'm going to have to test it. First of all, another bold patch. It is shaven sharp. Okay, so uh, quickly grab the uh, folding saw and uh, harvest some green wood from one of the trees just to the side of me here. I'm going to test the ferret as it has been renamed. Okay, 
um, pencil thick branch clean cut um, finger thick branch this is all green just harvest it a second or two ago clean cut okay um, not the normal size of a thumb, but the size of my fat thumbs. And beetroot shape. Around the branch. Just making small insertions. In case if you don't have a saw, you're still taking down bigger wood. It's just gliding through the outer bark on that piece of wood. find enough shavings from it I'm well pleased well pleased I don't think I've anything here that I can actually try a baton with Bear with me just a second. Yeah, no bother. Nice bit of beach that the uh, customer gave me for scaling. I'm happy enough with that.
my new bushcraft working knife. Thanks a lot, Sandy. Appreciate it, bud. Thanks. And why is it called a ferret? Because of these guys. Eight of the best pets you could keep. After the dog, of course. All right, Taz. Where you go? Come on up. Come on up. Up, up. Guys, oh, there we go. We've got the knife for the critters. We've got the sunshine. I'm just going to spend the rest of the evening relaxing out here. Testing this a bit more. Seeing what it's capable of. And uh, having a bit of fun. Time to put the ferret away. Come on, girl.